I'm Lucy at Parasol Pirate and this is my current reads. Surprisingly, I am not reading anything on Kindle at the moment. Um, normally I try, well not try, but I like to have something on like Kindle and hard copy and Audible and just like mix it up a bit. Partly so that no matter where I go, I've got access to a book, but I don't know, I tend to try and mix it up a little bit and I'm not reading anything on Kindle. So I might have to try and find something. Firstly, as part of a body read on Bookstagram, Instagram, I'm reading The Hearts Invisible Furies by John Boyne. Uh, we follow Cyril, the main protagonist, who is gay when it is illegal to be gay. It's just after the war, so you're not allowed. Set in Ireland. Um, it's like a dark comedy. I'm really enjoying it. The moment it's just like flowing over me. It's just about um, Cyril's life. You find out about his uh, mother in the first few chapters and then it's just about, yeah, his life at the moment. Um, I'm really enjoying the writing. It's not a book that I think I would normally have picked up. Like, it's not exactly a, uh, it's not a family saga. I don't really do family sagas, but um, yeah, like I say, it's just sort of flowing over me. I'm just letting it happen um but i'm really really uh enjoying it for some reason though my edition is like 700 pages and everybody else's is like 500 and it's made out of the thinnest paper in the world so it does seem like it's lasting a long time but um yeah i'm just enjoying it at the moment uh i think quite a few people have read this already so if you have let me know what you think i think generally it has quite good reviews which i would agree with for the most part I am also buddy reading Circe by Madeline Miller uh, with Mersey Mermaid at the moment. I recently finished Song of Achilles and I absolutely loved it. Like I just fell in love with the writing and um, who we were following, just everything about it I absolutely loved. Um, so unfortunately this has quite a lot to live up to. Uh, thankfully it is very very pretty for anyone uh, who has the Hardback will no. Oh. Where have I missed? Oh, other pretty part. There we go. I knew there was another pretty part. Um, so I'm only about 30 pages into this, so it's not living up to expectations so far, but hoping to uh, get further through it and fall in love with it as much as I did at Song of Achilles. Obviously, the Man Booker shortlist 2018 was released uh, to no yesterday. Yesterday, the 20th. Um, and Normal People was not on it by Sally Rooney, which I think will have caused a lot of controversy with people. Um, that is one that I have read and I didn't like it as much as everybody else did. I am actually looking for a home for it if people want. I've got, down here, um, everything under and Normal People. And if anyone in the UK is wanting them, they are free to a good home because I won't reread them and... I don't know, I know that some people would, would really like to, so hit me up in the comments, let me know. But I am currently reading Washington Black by um, Izzy Edgigan. And I have to say, I am really liking it. Um, it's about slavery and airships, I think, would be how you would maybe term it. Um, it's a lot more serious than that, but I am finding it quite easy to read, which I didn't expect. Um, again, absolutely beautiful version. Oh, I'm going to lose my page. But um, yeah, I mean, no one can say it isn't very pretty. But yeah, about 75 pages into that. Um, I'm actually really hoping to finish it tonight or tomorrow just because I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I haven't enjoyed something on the Man Booker list for quite a long time, to be honest. Um, so I will do a review of that when I've finished. Finally, one that I am listening to is Lethal White by Robert Galbraith, who was also J.K. Rowling. Um, I have bought the hardback for my mother because I think she will enjoy it. She's read all of the other ones, um, but I am listening to it on Audible at the moment. And I feel really bad because I can't remember the name of the person that narrates it, but I just think they have such a nice sort of voice for me to listen to. I don't do a lot of crime or thriller. Um, I didn't really like the BBC adaptation that they did of the strike, common strike um, novels. There wasn't anything wrong with like the casting or anything. It just really didn't catch me. Um, I just find them really easy to like wash over me and listen to. So on a night I tend to listen to them. So I think 
quite a lot. I didn't realise buying this, it's like pretty chunky. Um, I think it's about 20 hours listening worth, so I'm just gonna plod through that. Um, um, yeah, see, see what it's like. Probably not very, very mind blowing, but enjoyable nonetheless. That is everything that I am reading at the moment and listening to. Uh, let me know if you have read or listened to any of them, reading or listening to any of them at the moment, and I will do some reviews when I've finished. Ta-ta for now.